Hello my dear friends, my name is Sonne and welcome back to another beauty video. I think I am gonna move, wait. I feel like this background is just boring. We're gonna move, I want my fun background. I was like, no, I can I can do this, you know, I, I'm already sitting like this for the pictures. I might as well just film here, but now that I'm looking, I'm like, uh, let's move. Okay, wait, let's move my shit around a bit so we have a bit more of a fun background. I think this is fine. I'm just... Why am I in front of the, the cute light? Okay, better. This is cuter though, right? Instead of having my bed filled with piles of folded laundry. Anyway, hey besties. Um, it's me, Sala. I said that. Welcome back to a beauty video. I wanted to make like a bit more of a casual video today and I did my makeup anyway, so I might as well film a little video, you know? Thing is, a little while ago, I like... At the end of the summer I did a huge declutter because my palettes didn't fit in like their regular space anymore and such so I just needed to declutter some things and I've been wanting to I didn't film it usually when I do a big declutter I film it because I just like to show the process the thinking process I know a lot of you really enjoy decluttering videos I personally do as well so usually I do film these kinds of videos but I was just not in the mood to film it it was just like really late I've been doing I did the decluttering over a couple of days just a little bit each time you know and I, I was just not in the mood to film it so what we did do is I put everything that I decluttered in this bag, which you can see is a lot. And I just kind of want to quickly go through it, show you what I've decided to declutter and why. Yeah, so we can just have like a little discussion about it maybe. I'm not gonna start with palettes because you, I know you, I know you, I know you're gonna think that's the most interesting part. It's, at least to me, it's the most interesting part. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit and not start with palettes. Because we do, in fact, declutter at least seven palettes in this video. Oh my god. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do lashes first. Because I think lashes are the most boring thing to declutter. Because at a certain point you just don't like them anywhere anymore, probably. So what I'm decluttering, first of all, are the Lenny Lash 100% Human Hair Lashes in 135. Just because I don't like... They're, they're a bit sticky. I, not sticky. They look like sticks. Instead of like having the really nice tapered ends... I don't think I think they look natural, so I don't want to keep them. Then we have two boxes, which are basically empties because we have the, the doe lashes and the style moonlight and soft bloom, which I really liked, but for somehow I lost both of these pairs. So these boxes are just empty, and I haven't seen the lashes in uh, like a year. So. I'm gonna declutter the boxes just to create more space for my other lashes because I'm sure as I'm not gonna find those anywhere else. Um, but I might rebuy them at some point because I do like them. I really like the lashes actually. Then this is all stuck together, but we have three pairs of lashes in here. I think these are a pair from Kruidvat, like the Naturals from Kruidvat. Maybe the Ardell Wispies, I think. And then another pair that I really don't know. Uh, I've had these out of their box for a long time and I just don't use them. I don't like the way they look. So they're going away. And then the final pair of lashes that I'm throwing out are the Lenny Lash lashes in Dazzle. Which were my favorite lashes for a long while. But these are just dead. They're gone. I've used them too much. They're falling apart. I tried to paint them white for one of my Halloween makeup looks didn't turn out that great so they're white and ugly now but yeah they're literally falling apart at the seams it's time to say goodbye to these babies it's time there's all the lashes i'm tossing so let's just go through it like that what are we doing next are we doing let's do base products we got four highlighters that i'm tossing we got the kruidvat lighten up diamond glow highlighter the reason I'm tossing this is literally just because I have something similar in my collection that I like the result of better and I just have, I think I have like 15 or 20 different highlighters and I'm like, it's too much. Especially when you have like 10 of them, they're just the same neutrally everyday kind of highlighters. So I just wanted to get rid of a few. And this was just one that did not pop out enough for me to keep. It is a really nice everyday type of highlighter, so I think there will be someone very happy with this, but it's just a little bit 
what do you call it? So, so, sometimes my English is just failing me, honestly. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's really windy outside. It's storming. Honestly, perfect day to just sit inside and talk about makeup, you know. Do you call that excessive, I think? It's a bit excessive for me to keep all the highlighters, so that's why I'm tossing this one. Same reason why I'm tossing Essence the highlighter in shade Divine. And also because I think I've used this one maybe four times since I got it. This really is just excessive in my collection. Unnecessary, unneeded, too much, whatever you want to call it. And then we have two liquid highlighters, because we have the Kruidvat Beauty Flash Illuminating Strobing Cream. Which is just, it's a weird thing to me. It's called a highlight cream, but I think it's also supposed to go onto your entire body. I don't like the way it looked. I don't like, I don't really know how to use it. I've had it for a while and I've never gravitated towards it whatsoever. So we're tossing that. And then I'm also tossing the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. Not because I don't like it. I like the formula, but this one is so dark on me. It, it's not, it's not for me. Like, you can already see how dark that is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's honestly more like a glowy bronzer for me. You can see it has a really brown base. So that definitely gives me a cast. Even when I blend it out a bit, you know, it's... It's gonna leave me the worst cast ever. So it's just not for me, not my shade, which is fine. So hopefully it works for someone else. Because the formula is really nice. I really like how it glides on and the shine is stunning, honestly. It's really just the color. It's just shade Gleam, by the way. So that one is going. Then we have a bronzer that I'm tossing, which is the Maximo Bronzing Powder in Matte. Honestly, I've had this bronzing powder for over 10 years, maybe. It's in the shade 150 LA Heat. You can see that I've, I, I hit pan in it, so I did use it a lot at some point, but I just don't really use bronzer. I just don't, it's not, it's not in my routine. I'm sorry, I, I don't, so. I think that one should just go also because it's old. Then I have the, I don't know if this is like a highlighter, I'm not even sure. The Essence Kissed by the Light Illuminating Powder in the shade Star Kissed. It's a multi-use illuminating powder. I have the other shade, I think it's Sun Kissed, which basically is just bronze or brown shades. I'm using that as a glowy bronzer on days that I do use bronzer, mostly during the summer. But this one, it feels like, it's just a, a bit of a, like a non-shade, if you know what I mean. It's just a tiny bit of sheen in it, a tiny bit of pink and a tiny bit of brown. And I feel like when you mix it and put it on your cheeks, it doesn't really do much for me. But maybe for someone else, it's a beautiful, like, glowy uh, blush kind of vibe. And I think I've only used this, like, once or twice, so... I'm just gonna get rid of it and hopefully make someone else happy with it. And then one thing that I'm tossing is this Blusher Compact by TCM Hamburg. I got this one from a friend that... She was also decluttering this, so she gave it to me. The colors are really bright and really fun, but I have colors like these now from um, Mora Cosmetics and Koki that I really enjoy the formula of, and that's what I gravitate towards. So I just don't gravitate towards these, these two at all. And I've had these for, I think, two years, and I have I don't think I've ever used them once. So... Maybe someone else would like them. So that's all the base products. So we basically just have lips, palettes and mascaras left. But it's gonna be a lot because I have so many lip products. But let's do mascaras first, just quickly, because there's two. I usually don't have that many mascaras. I do have a, quite a few now because I have a lot of colored ones. But I only have three regular mascaras, which one I'm not really even sure of if I want to keep it. But I also had these two. On top of those three, which five is way too many. They were all open. And these two, I just don't like. Um, so we have the Kruidvat Mighty Lashes Bold Volume Mascara. Packaging is pretty cute. It just has the really spiky rubbery wand, which is not really my favorite type of wand. And I feel like it just didn't really coat my lashes evenly. It got a bit clumpy. Uh, I feel like those spikes aren't made to really separate your lashes well. And then the formula just didn't really dry very well. It took really long. So it just wasn't for me. And then same thing is the Vain Beauty Mascara. Which, first of all, this packaging feels really weird to me. Because the, the wand is on the longer side. Do you see what I mean? It, it, it feels weird to me. This kind of wand is more the kind of wand that I enjoy. This formula also just felt really wet didn't dry fast enough for me and it didn't really 
give me a lot of added volume. Oh, it's the Enhanced Instant Extensions Mascara. And I've only used it a few times. I'm getting rid of it anyway, because I just don't like it. And I have other mascaras that I prefer. Okay, so I think I will stop teasing you now and go over the palettes and then we can do the giant heap of lip products after that. But let's go through palettes first, shall we? I have eight palettes, to be precise. Let's start. Two palettes that I'm decluttering. These two from Essence. I've done videos on both of these palettes. A three look one palette with each of them. We have the Essence Welcome to Miami palette, which has these pretty fun brightish colors. I've only done those three looks for that three look one palette video and that's the only time I've ever used this palette. I feel like the shades are really difficult to use because you have a lot of like for example, look at this. This is a shimmer. It's a beautiful shimmer. But this shimmer is deeper than any of the mattes in this palette. So how are you supposed to use this shimmer properly? So I feel like everything in here just doesn't entirely match each other. And it's just a bit difficult to use. And I basically have every single shade in this palette somewhere else in my collection. So I really see no use for this. And I haven't used it any time since I've got it, which is over a year I believe. So I, I feel like it's time to go. It's just taking up space. And same goes for the Benvenuti Aroma palette, which is just neutrals with a little bit of olive colors, which I feel like feels very much Rome inspired. I like this color story a lot compared to like the, 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 the topic. My God, the inspiration for it. I just haven't used this. And these neutrals, they're very light. I just don't, I just don't grab them. I don't know, I just haven't grabbed it at all. And I have some, like, I am not a neutral girly. You know this about me. I just don't wear neutrals that often. And when I do, I have, like, a few palettes that I really like using. And then these ones just get put to the side because, first of all, I barely ever wear neutrals. And then when I do, it's not this palette. So that's why. And I feel like somebody else may have a good use for it. So we'll give it to somebody else. Now we have another Essence palette. Essence is really not doing great in my collection. Looking at this little pile that I have over here. You know I'm a big fan of Essence. The thing is that currently, like especially starting out, I feel like Essence is an amazing brand for girls and women starting out with their makeup collection. But right now I have so many things from other brands, like also really great indie brands, that are just slightly higher in quality. And also are a lot more colorful and a lot more my style. Essence is very neutral based for the girl who's just starting out and wants a bit of an everyday makeup kind of vibe. Which is just not my makeup vibe. So that's why Essence just doesn't really fit my vibe entirely anymore. I still love their products a lot. Especially like just basics that you use like powders concealers. I use their lash glue every single day. I love that one. Uh, highlighters. Like I use that bronzer thing that I just talked about. So there's, you know, quite a lot. Uh, oh, their blush shade. I'm not sure what shade it is. But one of their the blushes, I use it every single day. I feel like it's the most stunning shade on my skin. But it's really just the basics and everything that goes beyond that, like eyeshadows and whatever is just an adventure for me basically. So the, I, the reason that I stuck with this palette qu for quite long was mostly sentimental value. This is Essence Air palette and the reason I have this it, it was um, an online exclusive at the time but back in 2020 I got to film with Essence for their YouTube channel. They had me drive over to Hamburg and film in a studio there and they supplied me with a hotel and dinner and uh, my mom got to come with me because I was just a very baby 20 year old who hasn't traveled alone ever outside of the Netherlands at least. And my mom wasn't sure if the people were gonna kidnap me or if it was legit. So my mom got to come with me and you know, they literally supplied everything and I got to film in the studio for the entire day. And it was so much fun. The thing is, they asked me beforehand if there were any products that I would really like to play with in the videos. Um, so I said this one and they brought it and I didn't end up using it in any of the videos. But they gave me like a little bag of products that I got to keep take home with me. Which were a lot of new products that hadn't come out yet. Which were featured in the videos. And then also this one because they brought it especially for me. And then I got to 
bring it home. Which also, I was really drawn to it because there's pastels, obviously. And I'm an air sign and I felt it was fitting. And it's a really cute palette, actually. You don't see much right now because it's all very, very light shades. But it's all uh, iridescent. And there's some really fun ones in here that have a bit more of like a, a translucent base with a pink sheen. So this is basically what got me into more specially shades that I am now supplying myself with from indie brands, basically. So I have no need for this anymore because the indie brand makeup that I have right now, it, it does the same thing for me, but better. It's way more sparkly, it's way more shiny, and it's way more what I want. And this was just kind of my gateway into that. Plus I got it during one of like the coolest product projects that I got to do so far. So it, it just has a bit of sentimental value for me and that's why I kept it. But I feel like it's time to let go of that. I feel like I am growing as a creator and I need to step past my past. <laughs> and I feel like I don't need to hold on to that kind of thing anymore. I can accept that it was such a good time. It was an amazing memory. I'm really grateful that I got to do it, but I don't need to keep on to things that I don't like just because of that memory, because the memory will still be there. This is going. Okay, after I've talked about that for like five minutes, we're gonna continue, because we have so much to talk about. I have a palette that I'm getting rid of, which is the Maxamore I should have palette in 520 Aurora Borealis, which is a palette that came in last year's advent calendar. And again, um, I'm a big fan of Maxamore eyeshadow, honestly, but this is just neutrals. I don't, I just don't wear it. I've used this palette once. It's been a year. I think it's time to let go. Then we have three Fab Factory palettes. The small ones. I've already gotten rid of one, like, last year. And it's just time to get rid of the rest as well. Because we have the, this neon green one. These are all dupes for Little Huda Beauty palettes. This neon green one, which is very cute, honestly. The neon orange one, also very cute. And then the mint green, which doesn't really have that much mint green in it. And I feel like I just have everything in my collection already once over. I just haven't used these in the past year. So I feel like they're just taking up a necessary space, basically. And then something interesting that I'm decluttering is this palette, because I feel like you guys have never ever seen this palette before, which is the Mio Go To Hell Five Points palette. And the reason you've never seen it is because I've, oh, maybe you've seen it once in one video. I think there's one video where I used it, but I've used this only once in that specific video. It's this palette. And uh, the thing that I don't like is that the palette itself doesn't have that really cool cover that the box has, but you know, whatever. And this is the very cute, color story and it's a really cute color story I feel like but also these are just colors that I have the shimmers are too dull for my liking and I picked this out for a PR box that I got so I did choose it myself but then when I actually had it in my hands I was like I wanted to try a new brand I've looked at this I've used it once I've swatched them and it's just not for me it, it just doesn't add anything to my collection so I feel like it's really good to let go of that before I try and use it and sort of half get attached to it, you know, because I just need to get rid of it. And those were all the palettes that I decluttered. So I think it's time to dive into... Oh, no, no, no. We have one more thing that I want to discuss before we dive into the final topic, which is lipsticks and lip glosses, which is <laughs> a lot. This, this thing. The Essence Brow Like a Boss eyebrow gel thing. I've used this religiously for like a year and I like it but it's a bit of a weird formula and a bit like it just has like a little paintbrush basically and I ended up really liking it. It made my lashes or my lashes, my brows look really good and it was one of the few brow products that were cool toned enough to fit with my eyebrow hairs. The thing is, do you see this? Do you see how intensely gross that looks? It's just like this. Oh, it's falling now. That's all the products that it, it just started dripping out when I had it closed. Doesn't matter how tight I closed, it just started bubbling out. So literally every single thing, my makeup div divider thing, the, the, the acrylic thing, you know, that I keep my makeup in, my makeup bags and everything, everything is covered with this stuff. And I'm so sick and tired of it. And now I'm using other brow gels that I really like. So it's just time to let this go. And it's going straight in the trash. 
straight to the trash. Like, I'm really sad that it does that because that's basically its only flaw because I really enjoyed it. That's why I kept hanging on to it, but it's just time to let go, you know, at a certain point. Anyway, let's discuss some lipsticks. Let's do bullet lipsticks first, shall we? I have a few that I'm gonna get rid of. First of all, the, the Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick Color Changing. Just because an, a Beauty and the Baker got me this, but I haven't opened it. Because I have something very similar from Essence, a color changing lipstick. I think it's literally the same formula. So I felt like I just won't open this and I can give it away to someone. Basically like having doubles and I don't really use the other one a lot. So that's what my mind thinks like. That's what, that was, that's what my mind was thinking. Then we also have the Sephora Scent Blasted Lip Stories. Metal, which is um, a really interesting lipstick. It's just like an a, an orangey neutral with gold shimmers, um, and it's just not for me. But also, I think like the 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 glittery makeup, the glittery lip trend. I don't feel like it's very much for me. Not on a lipstick, at least in glosses, yeah. But in a lipstick, I it just it's just not for me. And that color was just not good on my face. So we're giving that to someone else. Then I am getting rid of one of my eight Hydra Matte lipsticks by Essence. Because I do have eight of them, all eight. I'm getting rid of number 406, Cherific. Uh, because I have so many red lipsticks in my collection that I don't really use. And this one was a bit of a double compared to a different lipstick that I had. So I just decided to toss it. And I'm not missing it so far. Then I have two Max and More lipsticks in shades Rusty Rose and Creme Brulee. Which are also just shades that I compare to all the other shades in my collection. And these were definitely doubles. Some of these I have used quite a bit already. But I feel like they're just very basic nudes. And I just have these double in my collection. So I decided to get rid of these. And then finally I have the Essence Natural Beauty. I don't know what kind of lipstick this is. Um, it's also just a very neutral lipstick. Uh, which again was just a double. And I just liked this formula less than a different one. So that's that on the bullet lipsticks, I guess. Then I have some lip balms, sort of. Which are all just lip balm sticks. These are all by Max and More, the first four. These are really highly pigmented, so they just act like lipsticks. I don't think I've ever used them. Maybe once or twice in all the years that I've had these. And I've had these for... I got these in PR, I think, four or five years ago. It was the first ever PR package that I ever got. But I just I just haven't used these. The colors are really cute. And I feel like that's a bit more like the consensus just in my collection. Anything that I'm decluttering is just... I don't use it. Um, and I also have the Hema Simmer thing in color 3. This one is matte. And this one is just too matte. It's really drying. It's a color that I... Yeah, it's a pretty bright cool pink. Which I don't really have in my collection. But just the formula is not for me. And then we have three liquid lipsticks. Um, first of all, we, we have the Maximore liquid lipstick in shade Shy, which was the only Maximore liquid lipstick that I still had left because I tossed the other one last year because the smell was unbearable. It was just new. I just got it and the smell was just awful. It smells like burnt plastic. And this one still has that scent. It's just less. So I decided to keep it because, oh, it's less. I can deal with it. I cannot deal with it. The scent is awful. It, it literally smells like burnt plastic and it's it's not good. And it's underneath your nose the entire day. Mm -mm. So we're not doing that. I'm tossing that. And then I'm getting rid of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Sepia. I just have three Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. I think this one and Grim. Is the other one I have? I have Grim and another one. At least two of them were very similar and I tossed this one basically. Also because I don't love the formula. It's really drying and it looks really dry. But the other two are just colors that I don't have anywhere else in my collection. So I decided I needed to keep it. And then the final liquid lipstick is this one by NYX. The, what is it called again? The Shine Loud liquid lipstick in next gen thinking. First of all, this color is way more warm toned than it looked in the picture when I ordered it. I don't know, the color in itself was already a disappointment. This looks like a warm toned purplish brown while I was going for like a cool toned grayish brown. And so the color, first of all, was not what I was expecting. And then the formula, mm. this is that one viral one that has the gloss on top of it, but it doesn't give away the color, you know? But the 
the, the liquid lipstick side of this. It's so patchy and drying and it starts to crumble and you need to do like five thick layers to get it a bit even. It's awful. I don't like it. And then the gloss on top just feels a bit weird because it's like pretty greasy but it doesn't take off your liquid lipstick. But then like when you do this, when you, when you like try to test the transferness of it, it doesn't transfer the color but it of course does transfer the lip gloss because it's just on top. So you still get like greasy see-through spots on your hand basically. I just really did not like that formula so I'm tossing it right away. I've only used it once. And then we've gotten to the final category, which is lip glosses. Let's quickly go through them. Uh, I have a few from Essence. We have the Juicy Balm lip glosses. I used to love their previous... I don't think it was called Juicy Balm, but they had the ones that had like a strawberry cupcake flavor and everything. Blueberry muffin. Those were so good. I basically ate those. But now they have the Juicy Balms. And they have different flavors. And these were the newest ones. So I got them in a giveaway. And it's shade, shade, scent, fresh banana and sweet mint. And honestly, the colors just look nice. They're just basically just normal see-through lip glosses, which were fine. I think the formula is good. But I just don't like the scent of either of these. This mint is really strong and the banana is just weird. I don't know, it weirds me out. So just because of the flavor and the scent... It's a no for me. And then another one from Essence is the What the Fake Plumping Lip Filler. Uh, just because I only used this as just a regular um, lipstick with like whitish silverish glitter in it. Uh, because it does none of the plumping for me. It just doesn't work for me. Which is fine. But I just don't like to go through all of the burning sensations for it to not help plump. And then just have a regular lipstick on. I have a very similar lipstick to this one, a lip gloss, that is not burning my lips off. So I'm keeping that one and this one is going. Then I'm getting rid of two Max and More lip glosses just because I don't reach for these at all. I kept these because like, I got rid of most of the other ones last year in my declutter video. But then these two were just... I, I kept them because they were very different in my collection compared to other uh, lip glosses. But... Even though they're different and unique in my collection, I just don't gravitate towards them at all. Like this was one of my few cool toned lip glosses and this one was orange. Great. Now if I need a cool toned lippy, I have a lipstick that I like to use. So I don't gravitate towards this lip gloss and I don't use the orange because I have an orange lipstick as well. I just prefer using lipsticks most of the time. So I just don't gravitate towards these at all. That's why I'm getting rid of them. And then the final two are these glosses by e.l.f. The... What are they called? The lip lacquers. I have shade Wild Rose and Moody. And honestly, I love these lip glosses so much. Honestly, so much. They're half empty as well. But the thing is that they have started to, like, separate. Don't know if you can see that. But they don't look healthy at all. It looks really gross. I can't get it to resuspend. I can't get it to resuspend again. And it looks really gross and it looks like something that I should not be putting on my lips. Um, and I used these to death basically. Didn't get to empty them before they started going bad so that's a bit sad but I love these and I will get these again at some point. The smells a tiny bit off but not too bad but yeah the, it does not look. This one smells a bit more off. So They've just gone bad, basically, and I'm really sad about it, so I'm tossing these, but these are really great lip glosses, honestly. I love them. So yeah, that's it, people. Those are all the makeup products that I am decluttering so far. Of course, I might do a declutter sometime again soon, because I always have too many things. But at this point, this is what I'm decluttering and why. Let me know if you have tried any of these products and if you like them or not. Are you sad to see some products leaving the channel, even? I, I wouldn't guess so because I feel like these are all products that you guys have never seen before. Yes, yeah, so those are all the products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog and my Instagram are all linked down below so you can check that out as well. My Instagram is where I post makeup looks like this. And it's going to be for me today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!